Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu. 2022 marked the return of the Dayton Ham Vention to the Green County Fair and Expo Center in Xenia, Ohio. This was the 70th anniversary of the Hamvention and was labeled as the Reunion. Ham Radio Outlet was there, of course, and I walked the Hamvention halls to see what was there. In this video, I spoke with Steve Brightman of SDR Play about their new product, SDR Connect. Hi, this is Steve Brightman from SDR Play, and I'm pleased to introduce our forthcoming new software product called SDR Connect. If you can see on the monitor here, our goal is to make our next generation product look very similar to SDR Uno, so the basic RF spectrum and waterfall look pretty much the same. Now, SDR Connect is going to be the new name for what we formerly were calling SDR Uno 2.0, and the new name is reflective of the fact that we had to basically rewrite the software from scratch to make it work. And two key things were uh, required of this new version. Number one, it must be multi-platform, and today we're running it on a Mac. In fact, this is Mac Mini is an M1 Mac, so it's running uh, ARM hardware. The second requirement was that it must be network capable. And in fact, what I'm running here today is the SDR Connect client connected to an SDR Connect server back in the UK. I don't know if the pictures can show you the, the little map there, but basically we're going from Dayton to Bedford, UK, showing SDR Connect operating. So what you're actually seeing on the screen here is the 20 meter band as it looks in the UK right now, connected from the uh, client to the server through the internet. Now I should stress, this is the basic core DSP engine, which is the heart of SDR Connect. This was the hard part that required the total rewrite. This is by no means the finished product. Now we need to wrap around it a, a nice GUI that brings in many of the features that you're used to with SDR Uno. And that will all be happening by the end of this year. I think I must also stress that although SDR Connect will be our flagship product going forward, we will continue to maintain SDR Uno 1.43 as it will be by then, and that will be uh, compatible with all our products that we've ever manufactured. SDR Connect, on the other hand, will work with all our current products, the RSP1A, the RSP-DX, the RSP-Duo, and also the discontinued RSP2 and RSP2 Pro. One other thing we're trying to do is incorporate some refinements to the UI that make it easier to use. One example, if would be to uh, zooming in on the spectrum and also the ability to switch between modes. We can switch between upper sideband, whoops, lower sideband and AM with just a, a mouse click. So what we have here is a uh, very flexible solution, it supports all our RSPs, it's multi-platform, it's cross-platform networkable and uh, again, it will be out by the end of uh, this year.